Down through the ages, human civilization has hosted thousands of governments, and many of these governments were benevolent. But what happens when a government goes rogue? And what happens to its citizens when power corrupts? And absolute power corrupts, absolutely. The founders of the United States understood the nature of government. That's why they institutionalized the right to keep and bear arms. 260 million people have been murdered by their own government. Every single time, gun control is initiated before the mass genocide. It's not about hunting and target practice. It's about good guys with guns, because sometimes the police just can't get there in time. 432 Mandalay Bay, I have the floor. And sometimes the police are present too much of the time. Ask the citizens of Nazi Germany or Stalin's Russia. Good guys with guns, how an armed citizenry addresses both tyranny and atrocities. Schools, concerts, churches, all microcosms of governments, nations and countries. And in each, sometimes the only way to stop a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. The reason why he was effective was because he was there. And he had, he had decent training and he had an AR-15. Everyone in the community must be armed. He must have armed people in the pool of intended victims. The Founding Fathers put it this way. A well-regulated militia is necessary. The right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. The truth is that our society is populated by an unknown number of genuine monsters. So why doesn't the gun control lobby get it? What's in it for them? Why do Big Pharma and the mainstream media hide data on psych drugs? What do they know that we don't? One of the major aims of the pharmaceutical industry is to spend its money to make sure the public never learns about all the horrors perpetrated by people taking psychiatric drugs. They walk among us every single day. 80 million Americans are on psychiatric drugs and therefore considered mentally ill. From the producers of Molon Labe and Midnight Ride, Matrix Entertainment, in association with Oath Keepers, presents Good Guys with Guns, a film the gun control lobby will hate, a film the mainstream media will blacklist. Inspired by the works of Edwin Vieira and the words of Wayne LaPierre, the only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. There's a very definite difference between a good guy with a gun and a bad guy with a gun. It's a, it's a matter of, of heart. Do mass shootings and other atrocities advance the globalist agenda? Eminent conspiracy theorists say they do. And the idea that they don't exist in government is absurd. That's where they always exist, because that's where the greatest prize is. The greatest amount of money is sitting in government coffers. Good Guys with Guns explores what the deep state, Big Pharma, and the media control group never talk about. Good Guys with Guns reveals the profitable psych drugs active shooters prefer. A James Yeager film, not coming to a theater near you. Where most accidents occur in a home with a child and a gun involves a child whose parents never teach them hands-on. They just say to them, don't touch. If you see a gun, don't touch, don't touch. Isn't it time for fewer gun-free zones and more good guys with guns? Gun-free zones are actually murder magnets. And so for people to insist that we can only be safe in a gun-free zone is to fly in the in the face of almost 70 years of history.